Creativity can be expressed in many different ways by many different people. Take, for example, artwork created by those visually impaired. UW Health is showcasing just that inside their McPherson Eye Research Institute. Our Carrie Larson gives us a closer look. Right now, looking at this, I cannot see the painting sitting like a foot and a half, two feet away from it. Albert Schmiggy's sense of sight is nearly gone. I started when I was 24, 25 years old. And from there, it just progressed to the point that my central vision uh, totally left me. But it doesn't keep him from doing what he loves most. And I will get as close as I can with the brush. A lot of my art is inspired by something that starts in my mind. Um, and a lot of times what I intend to put on the canvas kind of takes on a life of its own and it turns into something else altogether. It's not without difficulty. There's continuously challenges. But says every brush stroke is worth it. It gives me a sense of control, uh, a sense of being able to create something despite my visual impairment. You can find three of Albert's pieces, including this one, hanging inside the McPherson Eye Research Institute, along with five other talented artists. What I love about it is the depth of the landscape. Denise Jess is the CEO for the Wisconsin Council of the Blind and collaborated with UW Health to showcase everything you see here. When we think about people who are blind and visually impaired, we often make the assumption that they can't do art. This gallery proves the complete opposite. Every piece was made by visually impaired artists. And when we can show that creativity to the world, that's a tremendous gift. So these pieces help show the creativity that lives in each artist and they also help this, the viewer to understand what living with visual impairment means. And gives people like Albert the recognition they deserve. This is something that I can uh, thrive with. Carrie Larson, WISC News 3. Some incredible work, it's isn't it? Extraordinary. Yeah, the gallery has been on display since the end of January. It will be taken down May 25th. It's always open for viewing, and there is a free closing reception on May 25th from 4:30 to 6:30, and everyone is welcome to attend.